Hey. I'm so happy to be cooking in the kitchen. Uh, yes, <laughs> it looks like a real kitchen. Yes. So, um, we are in Newfoundland and um, we're staying in a Airbnb and I am making haddock and rice pilaf like I did at the campsite in the last video. Um, I think it'll be the last video. Maybe it'll be a couple video videos ago. I don't know. But in any case, I'm doing it in the kitchen so you can do this at home, but it was easy enough to uh, do it at the campsite. So it should be good, right? Right. I'm starting with the rice pilaf and I am cubing up some carrots. I have two carrots here and an onion, just a small onion. After the Airbnb does have a cutting board and knife and such, but I prefer using my own. Oh. oh, why are you making fun of me? Well, no, just back to the uh, nice skills. <laughs> you know what I like the most about cooking in this kitchen right now? What? No mosquitoes. I'm making the rice pilaf in the pressure cooker today, but I easily made this um, on the stovetop at a campsite, so totally doable. You don't need a pressure cooker to make this. Um, but because I am using that today, I will give instructions on both. So heat up your saucepan to um, medium and melt your butter. That's what we're gonna do here. On my pressure cooker, I have a saute mode, so I'm going to do that. Saute on um, regular heat. All right, I'm putting two tablespoons of butter in here. I probably don't need two tablespoons of butter, but why not? I'm just gonna wait for that to melt. My butter is melted. I'm going to toss in my chopped carrots and onion. Saute that for a few minutes until it's softened. I've already rinsed my rice and I'm adding just one cup of rice. And you can add one to two cups of rice. There's enough carrots here to go around. Um, I added if you you can even cut down on the carrots if you want. It's just that's our vegetable tonight, so there's two carrots in there. Well, I'm making a salad too, but that's besides the point. And at this point, um, what I did was, in, well, I didn't have chicken stock, so I bought this better than bouillon, and I just added it to my rice and then my my water on top. But you can make the chicken stock ahead of time or use whatever you have, or just use water. You don't even need chicken stock. But for me, it's just added flavor. So I'm just going to stir that around. And it is pretty tasty with that added flavor. Bouillon. <laughs> okay, in the pressure cooker, I'm only using one cup of water, maybe more than a cup, to compensate for the carrot. And at this point, you can turn your saute mode off. I'm going to use one and a quarter cup of water. For the stove top, uh, you'll want to add two parts water. So if you're using one cup of rice, use two cups of water and bring it to a boil. I'll give you more instruction in a second. So for the pressure cooker, you want to put your lid on, lock it into place, make sure your sealing knob is on sealed. And I'm going to manual cook this for four minutes on high pressure and then let it naturally release for 10 minutes. Sorry, I should have been more clear um, and just did the pressure cooker by itself and then stovetop method. So after you've sauteed all your veggies, 
you're going to add your rice, saute that for a couple of minutes, add your chicken stock or just a bouillon cube. Um, you want twice as much liquid as you have rice. So if you're using one cup of rice, use two cups of liquid, whether it's chicken broth or water, and bring it to a boil and then turn it down to low. Put the lid on and let it simmer for about 18 minutes. And after 18 minutes, you can kind of check on it, see if, make sure that it's cooked through. Um, if not, just let it cook for another two minutes. You might need to add a little bit more liquid, um, like I'm talking like a tablespoon, and leave it on for another uh, two minutes or so. And then uh, fluff it up and put the lid back on, turn off your heat, and let it sit for about five minutes, and then your rice will be done. All right, and again, you, know, you guys know how much I love my butter. Melting about two tablespoons of butter. Okay, I just have about half a cup of flour. I'm going to season the flour with some salt. About half a teaspoon of salt and some pepper. I'm just going to mix that around. And then I'm going to I have some haddock here. Haddock is there, I guess is a local fish. I'm just gonna bread it. And then I'm gonna add it to the pan and just lightly fry it. Let's turn up the heat a little bit. We have found that the haddock is very moist. Um, and we like it better than the cod. So we're trying to get as much of this into us <laughs> before we leave. We've had fish and chips and they've given us the choice between haddock and cod. We've chosen the haddock. The kids love it. I wonder if we can get haddock in Vancouver. I've never, maybe I never bought it because I've never cooked it before? I don't know. May have to look for it. Looks good. So while camping, we just put this on the scottle. And it's just as fast. Okay, I want to say that it's only like maybe two minutes on one side and one to two minutes on the other side, and they're done. It's already falling apart, see? Okay, last one. And you know when fish is done, when it flakes easily. So the rice pilaf is also done. I'll show you what it looks like. Scoop some out. Four. The disheveled just came from camp. Taste. <laughs> so, uh, yes, I've been loving the haddock here in the Maritimes in its different forms, whether it be fish and chips or uh, fish burger. In this case, it's the, the simple pan fry. Sorry, here it goes. Mm. I like the texture of the, of the haddock because it's not mealy, it's moist, but it's not um, um, too soft either. So it's a nice texture, I love it. And the simple butter and salt and pepper, it's good. butter and rice pilaf, what's not that like? So when we had this at camp, it was like gourmet food at camp, you know, it's not just a, a, a wiener roast, which we had, which is really nice, but having this kind of home cooked food at camp is really good. And at home too, so. <laughs> awesome, we'll be making this again. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I can find haddock in Vancouver.
Otherwise, I'm you sure have to fly I back? Can. Yeah. I'm sure I can. I just never. Why? I never knew anything about it before. Well, we've been on the road for several weeks now, and we're coming to an end very soon. Um, I'm happy to share the recipes that we have made uh, through our time away from my ugly kitchen. And uh, yeah, so if you like this video, please click like, and subscribe to my channel, and continue to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching. Thank you.